Hi guys, I look a little silly. I just put my hair back for the video. Um, I just washed my face, put on my acne medicine and my moisturizer, did my skin prep. So today we're gonna be doing my makeup, a little get ready with me. But I've got some products that I don't normally use and sometimes I do use them, but not in this order. So we're just gonna like switch it up. So let me walk you through the routine real quick. Also, I am breaking out a lot. We're just gonna ignore it, okay? First, I'm gonna go in with the SOS Tower 28 spray. This is gonna be like my primer. I know it's not a primer, but we're gonna use it as a primer. Then we're going to use the Say Super Glowy Gel in shade Star Glow. This is the mini. You can see I'm almost done with it and I want to get through it before I get the full size. Then we're gonna use the Kosas Airbrow, which is my favorite. We're going to be trying the Patrick Ta palette in She's a Doll. This is a blush. I always struggle with getting these open, but this is what it looks like. Really excited for that. Then we're gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics Highlighter in my inner corners. We're gonna be using the Rare Beauty highlighter on my cheeks. We're gonna use the Rare Beauty setting powder. I mean, setting spray, this is the four in one. Then the Ilia Mascara and the Rode Lip Peptide in Ribbon. All of these products are linked in the description. If you wanna shop them, I will earn commission. It'll help me out. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with the Tower 28 spray. Today, I have done a lot. Not actually, but it just feels like it. Um, what did I do? I woke up, I went to my other house because my parents are divorced. Um, it's really hard to think and do my makeup at the same time. Okay, we have the Say Super Glowy Gel. I have my mirror right here. I haven't used this in a really long time. I used to use it every day, but I actually stopped for a while. Not for any specific reason, just because I wasn't really using a base that much. And my face is really wet, so from the Tower 28 spray. So this is kind of like all over. I may have put too much of the spray on. And I have to blend it out so that I don't look silly. But I really like this product. Um, you can tell because I've used it a lot. Okay, that is the Say Super Glow Gel. I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about. I didn't post yesterday and I feel really bad about it, but I didn't have any time. I went to Top Golf with my family for a family member's birthday. It was really fun. Okay, we're gonna use the Kosas Airbrow now. This is the mini. Um, I don't believe they sell the mini. Um, it was like my boyfriend had his birthday in February and he made a Sephora account so I could have his freebie for his birthday. And there was like a Kosas set and this was in it. So that's how I got it. But I really like it. And when I'm done with it, I will be getting the full size. Okay, there's like a hair in my face. I don't know where it's from, but that is okay. I need to, I need to tweeze my unibrow. I just have some hairs. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna be trying the Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Blush in She's a Doll. I'm really excited. Um, I just sold my other one because I never used it. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to open. I don't understand how it's supposed to be open because everybody else doesn't seem to struggle like this. There we go. I am just gonna be using the cream blush today because powder blushes scare me. So we're gonna open the little lid. I don't know how pigmented this is. We're just gonna one, two. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, that's better. Maybe one more, one, two. Yeah, okay, I like that. Someone commented on one of my videos that I should not wear baby pink blush and that it doesn't match my skin. And maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not meant for me because I know the whole like color theory thing about how like different colors are better. For oh wow, I put on a lot. Different colors are better for different people. But I've never like understood that for myself. Like I don't know what colors are good for me. So I just kind of wear what I want. And if I feel like I look good, then I wear it, you know? I don't really care what other people say. Okay, let's put on just a little bit more to match it. Okay, that's enough of that. But I do really like this blush. I haven't tried the, tried the powder one yet because powder blush scares me. But, okay. Sorry, blending a lot. Okay, looks good. Put my brush away. Okay, next we're gonna do highlighter, the Rare Beauty highlighter in shade Enlightened. They did just come out with new shades of this. I think I said that in my last video where I used this, but just do that. Get it there, all the way. 
Looks super glowy. <laughs> I have fun with highlighter. It's one of my favorite steps of my routine. And then I pat it in. <laughs> wow, like look at that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a lot of highlighter on my hands now. And then I'm gonna use the Thrive Cosmetics like pen or whatever and just do my inner corners. Now, a lot of people really hate on the inner corners because they think it looks bad. But I kind of really like it. I feel like it makes my eyes pop. And I do blend it, so that's good. Okay, next we're going to set with the Rare Beauty 4-in-1. I'm almost done with this. I'm really excited to get the full size whenever I'm done with it. Maybe I'll get it at the Sephora sale. Um, speaking of the Sephora sale, sorry, I'm just looking to see if my face is like dripping wet. Um, the Sephora sale is coming up for spring. So there are like different levels you can be at Sephora. I think it's Insider, VIB, Rouge. And it's like depends on how much money you spend at Sephora over the year. I am Rouge, the highest tier. And based on what tier you are, you get a discount at the Sephora sale. So Insider is free to join. Anybody can be an Insider. And I think you get 10% off. And then VIB is when you spend $350 or more and that's 15% off. And then Rouge is $1,000 or more and you get 20% off. So depending on how much you spend at Sephora over the year, you may get a better discount at the Sephora sale. By the way, this is the Ilya mascara. And I have seen a lot of my friends, my girly friends, posting on Instagram about prepping their carts for the Sephora sale about what they're gonna order. And honestly, that was such a good idea. I had to uh, do it as well. And I keep like changing what is in my cart because I can't decide on what I want. But I know I will pick some great things. And I do have a shot my folder about what's in my cart right now for the Sephora sale. If you want to check it out, if you're interested. But it's probably going to change before I actually check out. Because the Sephora sale isn't until April. And it's only March right now when I'm filming this. So, yeah, if you're interested, you could look at those. But, yeah, uh, the Sephora sale is going to be really fun. I really want to ball out for it. I've been saving up money. I want to just buy, like, a lot. But the problem is, I used to buy whatever I wanted whenever I wanted with makeup. Because I sell, um, I, I sell clothes on Depop. And I make enough money to get whatever I want, honestly. Like, I don't buy expensive things. I just buy, like, makeup and clothes. So I couldn't, like, buy designer bags whenever I wanted. But, like, when I want makeup, I just buy it because I have money from that. It's not like I'm using my parents' money all the time. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> but uh, anyways, what was I saying? Okay, I just, like, had an epiphany maybe a month ago or something like that that I have too much makeup. I don't know how I never realized it, but I do. I have way too much makeup. It's overconsumption. It's not cute. And I've been getting rid of a lot of makeup, using a lot of my makeup, just trying to like, not by getting rid of I mean giving to friends and stuff, not like throwing it away. But I have too much makeup. I still do. Oh my God, I look so funny. Why do I look so funny? I look really weird right now. Maybe it's the hair. It's my ears, isn't it? Anyways, I have like 20 blushes. Like, why do I need 20 blushes? So that's my dilemma is that when I go to Sephora, I see all these things I want, but I'm like, I have too many of this type of product. Like I don't buy lippies anymore, or I try not to. I mean, you guys see my Instagram stories, you know I'm still buying stuff, but I promise it's a lot less than what it would be before I had this epiphany. Okay, Rode Lip Peptide in ribbon, but you guys might be proud of me, um, or maybe you won't. <laughs> But when Rode did the lip peptide release, like, recently, I had my alarm set. I was like, I'm going to get all four. And then, right as it happened, I was like, I don't need these. <laughs> and I wanted them pretty bad. But I was like, I have too many lippies, and I do not need these. This is learning to do better. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I am getting better at not buying everything I want all the time. Because I need to save my money. I have things more important than makeup and clothes, you know? Like, I just have too much and I'm going to get rid of a lot of it over time, probably by using it because I can't like give away my makeup to you guys because it's been used and that wouldn't be right, you know? Now, yeah, that's what's up. I finished my makeup. 
that's honestly the lesson here is overconsumption is bad and if you've already been over consuming just work on it you know like honestly i'm a beauty influencer i get a ton of giftings and stuff but i give a lot of it to my friends and stuff i mean i make a video and i give my honest opinion i'm not like lying i don't say i use this all the time if i don't use it all the time you know i don't lie i just say like oh this is a new product to me stuff like that you know but yeah that's honestly what's up yeah and that's the end of this video that's real talk for you guys is that i have a problem of buying things and i'm learning to fix it and i'm actually pretty proud of myself because like two months ago i would have bought every single new launch at sephora by the brands i liked like the milk blush the milk lip oil all of it i would have bought everything but i didn't because i didn't need it and i'm really proud of myself for that because you you guys may think girl like that's that's basic like everybody does that like like it's normal to not buy everything that comes out but it wasn't for me that's the difference and you may call me privileged and i i am privileged but it was my money that i worked for so you know i do what i want with my money <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah that's what's up i love you guys like share subscribe comment anything like that i love you guys i respond to every comment you guys are the best Thank you for 400 subscribers, by the way. I posted about that on my Instagram story, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Okay, bye.